previously. Sorry, bro. Me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. <laughs> now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Ha! <laughs> Wouldn't have shown anybody. Take a sip, or I just want some rest. I'm gonna take a sip. Nice. Yeah. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. <laughs> and now. gonna be the girl with the blue Whew. all right the girl with the bow on her neck hopefully big B. nope snow Come snow with snow snow what <laughs> Sorry, I'm... Yeah. What is it? What happened? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Who's this ginger? Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that Ron from freaking Harry Potter? These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Alright. Wonder what it could be. Oh. Man. You knew this girl? I was nice to her at it's, once. She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. A working girl? She looks familiar. A working girl? A working girl? I don't... I mean... I'm a working girl. <laughs> Not that kind of work. Not normal work, girl. Woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. You don't no. think he did it, do you? You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... Terrible. Who found her? It yeah. It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So... Who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Well, have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Yeah. Well, we can clearly see on her neck. Oh God, what did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp. Or something with magic attached to it. I'm gonna go with magic. See what's in her mouth. A little piece of paper. What is? It? 
It's a ribbon. Oh. There's some kind of symbol here. Hmm. I, I don't recognize it. Neither do I. And she was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? A real jerk. Hmm. I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. It's pretty gnarly. I wonder where the rest of her body is. Um, what, what do you want to do next? Look for clues. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Yeah. Do a little investigation. Maybe we'll find something. Here we go, what's this? Nobody there. Better not be nobody there. I'll have to deal with them. What's going on back here? Nothing for me to mess with over here. I feel like I'm wasting time here. Oh, we found something. A blood trail. Here we go. Blood. Drops of blood. It's been here an hour, maybe. Is that before the head was there or about the same time? I wonder. No signs that it's been here long. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Yeah, a lot of people wear jeans, so. Just some loose trash. Well, that's not loose trash. That's definitely blood. Or blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. Makes sense. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Alright. So I don't think there's anything else over here. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Alright, so I guess we found everything we needed to find, or we could talk to her. Show her the fabric? What are you doing? <laughs> Checking out your dress. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. Doesn't match your dress. Yeah, I'll let you uh, not be a suspect anymore. Move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? Um. How did this happen? Her. I don't want to say yet. Sorry, Snow. Just not ready to say yet. Fine. Let's just get upstairs. <laughs> I left Snow unsure. My bad. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. Who is and Crane? He's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we mm. held it for him. I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. Just wait a little bit. Wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that. 
I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. That sounds reasonable, but I don't know. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. So here, who are all these? Blind. Whoa. Why, you don't see there's a line? Oh. I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. Yeah. And what great work you do, sheriff. Thank you. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Haha. <laughs> That guy thinks I care. Yes, I see. I, I... Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked Whoa. me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Um, Who else is to blame if not you? It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Yeah. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have um, half a mind to fire the both of you. Bluebeard, Bluebeard was mentioned. Don't be absurd. Bluebeard is out of the country as we speak. So don't even think about accusing him of such a treacherous affair. <laughs> the guy has a history of beheading young women. I'd say that's something worth checking out. If all you're operating off of is ancient history, we're all in much more trouble than I imagined. By that rationale, you're a suspect as well, Wolf. Hey. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly. Watch what quiet. you say to me. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian <laughs> right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. What? I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? What? Don't oh, bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. So do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. Uh damn it, I didn't push anything. You would have just pissed him off more. That's All good right. thing I didn't say anything. Well that could have gone better. Well, I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Wasn't gonna say I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. <laughs> Smoke away. I will. Um, he gets a morning massage. What's the wine about? What an asshole. Yeah, pretty yep. much. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? Well, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Is... is he gone? Yes, uh -oh. thankfully. Ah, oh, this guy rules. You getting drunk, bro? Buffkin! <laughs> Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? <laughs> That's mild. Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. That <laughs> little monkey is so cute. God. How are you today, Mr. Big B? I'm pretty good. Those eyes. Uh, yeah, Come I'm right, fine. Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin. Yeah, <laughs> Buffkin will remember Quick that. Books. 
The ones with all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really Maybe have to get it this can. appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. <laughs>